Hello again, we're back here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to week one, video three for my mixed media beginner's guide class on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I guess I forgot to mention in the first two videos that I do have a Facebook group. Um, so there will be a link to that down below if you wanna go ahead and join that. And today we are focusing on Distress Oxides. I grabbed this one because a lot of mine look like this because I play with them a lot and I have my dauber stuck on the back with some Velcro. So when it touches, it does get ink on all of the other um, thing, um, fronts. So I take a piece of label and I use the little blending brush and I blend it out and cut it and put it on here so that I can see the color at the top, right? So I do not have the minis because they don't come in the minis, um, but these are all the colors that I have. Close to my heart does sell some of these, which is why my collection is quite bulked. And this is basically what I stored in along with some other things over here. But uh, it's just a refrigerator bin that I picked up at uh, Marshall's, I believe. So anyway, now yesterday's video, as I gessoed the page, you guys did see I had a lot of gesso and I was able to gesso a whole nother page. So I did gesso it. I used the Finnebear Art Basics Gesso. And again, today it is recommended. Um, you don't have to use it, but I'm going to do a fun rainbow today. So you're going to see that the gesso is going to come in quite handy. All right. So let me show you my swatch book here. And we want to grab a rainbow color of distress inks, distress oxide inks. And now what distress oxide inks are, are they, they are actually they are a water reactive dye and pigment ink. So like the distress, these little distress inks, they are just uh, water reactive dye inks. This has a pigment in it too. So it does give a pretty cool effect when it oxidizes. And I went too far, so just again, here is my swatch book and these are all the colors I have. So I definitely want to go ahead and we're going to turn that this way and we are going to get a rainbow. So I do want a red. So we're probably going to go with the candy apple. I'm going to reach over here. And I'm going to get that guy out. So we've got candy apple and spiced marmalade, which is the only orange I have because I've recently just started getting into the Distress Oxide mustard seed for our yellow we're gonna go with mowed lawn for the green and the blue um i like this blue so the chipped sapphire and wilted violets all right so there are my colors. Here is my swatch book. I always, I like the swatch book so that I can see. I mean, obviously I really could have just looked at this bad boy right here and then I go, well, there you go. But I didn't, so we're good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up a little bit off my desk, make some room and I'll be right back and we will move on to the fun part of the video. All right, so our page is dry. It is warped, but I'm just kind of like, I'm bending it into submission. Now I am gonna go ahead and grab my photos now. Now these are some very, very large shots of <laughs> my family all spread out around my parents' house um, for her surprise birthday-ish thing. And I'm thinking, do I want to back them? Quite possibly. But what we're going to do is since I know I'm going to stick them together and I'm going to 
I need my grid mat, guys. All right. So real quick, messy mat move away. And I want them to be straight, so I'm just going to line them up on the grid mat. Kind of get them on there. All right. So they're straight. I grab my cute little washi tape dispenser. I'm just going to tape them together so they stay together so that I can kind of see where they need to be and where the mixed media needs to be. And I probably will back that in some probably black cardstock, but I kind of want it to go here. Now I've got to decide, do I want, I want the watercolor. So they're going to go up at the top like such and I am going to have pattern paper that goes up there as well just not going to do that yet so then I usually do now the one thing that you need to remember is what I'm going to do here is that line is going to show okay I'm going to take a pencil maybe if I can find one why can't I find a pencil seriously okay here's one da, da, da. all right I'm going to take my t-square ruler and it's warped, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay. And I'm going to... Well, we're going to make that go up a little higher. All right. That, even if you try to erase it lightly, it doesn't matter. That's not going to come off because the gesso is there and that's, it's going to keep it on there. But we're going to have that covered up because I'll have the pattern paper drop lower. All right. So we know we want that there. We can move that to the side now. Remember we have our inks. So that's the purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So for this one, I've got my rag. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna take it and you are going to smush it right down on the page. And yes, I do contaminate it a little bit, but it's just the edge and I'm okay with that. And this one's already been contaminated. Okay. Oops, I don't know what was wrong with that one. Some green. And see, I'm going over the line to ensure that it's gonna look like a big old rainbow that is coming out from underneath everything. Okay. So we have all those done. Just going to do a little quick cleanup. All right. So now we want to get all this stuff out of the way. Fun, but not done. You take your paper towels or your rag and you can see about time this one will last a little bit longer but I'm gonna put that back down on there spray bottle and I always kind of tilt this part up a little bit because I don't want to blast everything behind me and you're just going to spray and let it run and you see where you need just a little bit more and then I always go back let it flow into the the abyss up there and then you can take your paintbrush Oops. and kind of make sure to keep this covered and let it mix just want to ensure that we're getting all kinds of coverage and that the it's all mixed together, okay? And just make sure that everything is covered. 
and the gesso helps this out tremendously. And our dirty water is getting very dirty very quickly. All right, so then we just, all right, so, <laughs> all right, you see how this guy right here is definitely mixing in places that we don't want them to mix. So we're just going to sop it up. And up here, it doesn't quite matter, but those are all colors that I don't want mixed. These right here, I don't want mixed that much all right and then we're just going to tip it again and let it run this guy's got a lot going on so we're gonna sop a little bit of him up so we don't run off but that's why i've got the towel there so that you can just drip it down onto the towel i hope you guys can see what i'm doing all right that now we wait for it to dry and this is going to be it's just a fun fun background we got a lot of mixture and flowing into each other and like the red the orange and big oh yellow right there right but that was because it kind of overpowered which is weird because yellow really doesn't always overpower and then see right here where i didn't have any gesso totally fine but when this dries it's going to oxidize as well and it's going to have like a very fun um white chalky sheen to it so we're gonna let this dry and we'll be back all right so it is all dry and it is warped and wrinkled but look how fun that is and you guys see like how it oxidized and like we get some weird mix but i love it i really do all right so that is the mixed media portion also i do want to remind you in case i haven't already because i'm actually filming the first week's three videos together <laughs> i'm going back and forth during drying time making the most of it um you guys know i do that i have usually have several layouts when i'm doing a mixed media when I'm working on mixed media, while this one's drying, I'm working on a different layout and I flip back and forth. So I've got three going right now. So I don't know if I said it in this video or not yet, but down below in the description, I will have my Facebook group so that you can share all your work. I'll have an album for this week and day so everybody can share their layouts and what they created. But that was the mixed media portion. So I'm gonna put this to the side for a minute. Now I did pull out some Navy cardstock. Uh, I believe it's Night of Navy from Stampin' Up uh, in all of my collection kits that I have this in this bin behind me that you can't see. I keep I keep the collections together until they can't until they have to, you know until there's nothing left and they I break them up and put them in my stash. But I usually go through since I'm trying to really seriously honestly a work my way through all of this eight and a half by 11 cardstock i go through and match the colors up and stick them in there as well so that i have everything you know i've got the embellishments and i have all you know everything including cardstock to mat all the photos so we're just gonna go ahead and i am gonna use my trimmer on this one uh, because there are such long cuts that it's just, it's, you know, basically it's time saver at this point. And I will keep, I'm not a big scrap keeper, but when I still have the collections kitted up, I will save the scraps. And then once I break it apart and put it into my stash, that's when I go ahead and like, if this little piece is still kicking around, it's not going to stay, but I will try to use it up when I can. I'm just going to cut this guy. But yeah, so I do want to see what you guys create. That's what the Facebook group is for. And, you know, you can also share any of your work. It doesn't have to be mixed media related or even this class related. If you just want to share your work daily, that is also welcome. Well, I need to trim this one down because I didn't get it. small as I wanted it. I just kind of want to break it away from the background, right? Okay, so also this is the Paige Evans Wonder Collection and I have the, I think the whole kit. I ordered, I did a pre-order from a cherry on top. Uh, I do, it's pretty much where I do a lot of my pre-orders from 
and look at how wonderful it uh, matches, right? Okay. So, right about there. And I'm like fancy on the torn edges, but I want to somewhat keep it. I don't want it like perfectly straight, otherwise, I would use my ruler. But I don't want it to be like, whoa, whoa, you know. I do sound effects, guys. And I always talk with my hands, so it's really good that I'm doing something with my hands. Otherwise, whoop. All right, so then we're just going to put this um, just to where it covers that line, which is pretty much almost, right? I love rainbow. Rainbow's my favorite color, in case you guys didn't know. And we are going to load this up with adhesive uh, because it is mixed media background with all the gesso and all the fun. So I put a lot of this adhesive and my liquid adhesive as well because otherwise it's not going to stay. And I do usually try to display these on my wall. Um, I pick my eight favorites every month. And so I will probably display these because mixed media seems to be my favorite. So we're just going to get a nice splattering. And as long as we're above the line. Oops. All right, so that's Strand. <laughs> uh, don't you just love when you do that? You guys ever do that? I missed it. I was more concerned about covering that line, that pencil mark up, than I was anything else. But simple, easy fix. My paper will. It will not be a true 12 by 12, but that's okay. That doesn't really, you know, bother me that much. I'm just going to trim off the overhang over here and over here. And like now the, the wonders, oh my God, this collection is beautiful. If you guys have not got it, try to see if it's still at it, but it's kind of like, it reminds me of the Sunkiss collection from Coco Vanilla. Like if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you're looking for it. But, I mean... And I was lucky enough to get the whole collection. I got that from um, Sandy at the State Goddess website. She has uh, scrappy, scrappyreflections.com is her shop. And I pre-ordered it from her. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, I mean, doesn't that match perfectly? And I didn't even mean it. I just went through my kits and tried to find something that um, went with the colors that I chose. And that's the good thing about mixed media is you can always, you can either try to match it to begin with. Or you can just go with it. And that's what I did this time. So we are going to put this uh, like so. And we are going to use our ATG again. And some liquid glue just because. And I need to refill my bottles. I just buy the big bottle of the art glitter glue, which is right here I get that on Amazon and then I just refill these guys and then like when this one's getting low I have a second one now I use the yellow tip because it's a medium point I had the blue tip and yeah that didn't really work out for me so well it kept clogging because it was like super fine all right so that is stuck down and we have so many fun words here around us life all right and now I know a lot of people do this I always trim one it doesn't even matter what side it can be either or side but instead of having to open and reopen the packaging unless it's die cuts no all right we are going to use this as our title and I think that we're going to do it 
right up there, right? So, you can put raisins down here. We're going to do so many raisins. All right, so. Try to keep that. Oh, I used the wrong sew. Did you guys see that? Oh, oh I was like, where'd it go? Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, come on, you can. Oh, that is like super stuck. These are super stuck. Yeah, it's trying to figure out where the good news is. We're putting the exact same word back down. Let's just hope that we don't rip the picture in the process. And I also, I print my photos off at home. Um, I just have a, I don't even know what it is. It's it's a Hewlett Packer. I got it from Best Buy. Best deal ever. Um, just so you guys know, I bought it like six years ago. And every two years I upgrade. So I paid 20 bucks for a, um, what they, the warranty or whatever it is. And I wasn't originally going to get it. And they were like, well, if it breaks or something happens. And I'm like, I'll just buy a new one. They're like, yeah, but even if it doesn't break, bring it back in two years and we'll give you a new one. And I was like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah. And I've done it three times now. And if they don't have that model, they give you the upgrade amount and you just pay another 20 bucks in two years. I mean, if it breaks, obviously you should trade it in. But uh, if it doesn't, <laughs> you get a new printer every couple of years. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, you guys should check that out. So we're gonna get reasons on here. And you know, since I'm not, Wanting to stick my head in the shot because normally I would do the uh, lining this all up off camera. It's a lot different when you're trying to do everything on camera. And my fiance is like, <laughs> he's he's home today and he's just like, are you done yet? And I'm like, no. He's like, I thought it usually only last an hour because I have done lives in the past. I'm like, no, I have to wait for it to dry. All right, so many reasons because that's the whole family. And the only person that's actually missing is my brother-in-law. So my sister's husband, he works like 80 hours a week. Um, but anyway, so you've got my sister-in-law and my brother. It's his wife. My sister, my mommy, this big guy right here, my daddy. So we know he's in there. My son and my fiance. So everybody is in the picture. We have some florals up there. So I am not going to use the florals. But let's see what we have on the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet. All right, I know because I already seen them and I want to use these. That would be cool, but I don't have all those colors. But I do want the hearts. So then we are going to kind of, we're going to do a little tone on tone. So I am also going to bring in, it's chipboard, it's not sticking. I don't care who makes it, but it's American Crafts chip, chipboard, so it's all right. So we are going to tone on tone these hearts. And all these fun embellishments. Whoops. Which they don't have all the colors in the hearts. What the poop? But that's okay. We're still going to tone on some. We got some blue. And we got a purple. This collection was like. Fabulous for my rainbow explosion here, huh? All right, we need green and yellow. I'm very upset the hearts aren't on all the colors. I kind of thought they were, but they're not. And then I need green. I need something in green. Oh, you people are killing me. Oh, there's some more hearts. Let 
this is the six by 12 sticker sheet or 12 by 12 sticker sheet because uh, it opens up um so i think i'm gonna do this right here today was magic we'll do that in the green even though it's a sticker i'm still gonna add this uh adhesive on there because i want it to stick get another get a blue heart and put him right here there's the purple hearts and a yellow heart I'm just, yeah, I'm just tone on tone and everything here. Get a yellow heart. Come back to these guys. Oops, breaking my sheet over here. All right, so I have an orange explosion and a red exploding. Oh, that was so frustrating. <laughs> There's a purple and a hot pink. We don't have hot pink on there. Oh, what else? So I'm just looking for more things to add. Let's see. Let's get this little happiness on here. We'll put that right up in this general vicinity. Let's punch it right up against that. This was a Saturday. Oh, you know what I don't like? don't like the white around that so we're just gonna fussy cut the white right off maybe and by proxy we're gonna cut off that weird little thing going on there we're gonna get Saturday on here as well we're gonna make him go right underneath there I think Okay. So that's another thing you can do. If you don't like the embellishment, make it work for you. And then we have all these fun little puffies. And I think I think we're gonna use some gold hearts right just get them down on here too and then we'll be done with the page so let's just put him here we'll layer this guy up because that yellow is like straight matchy matchy this little guy right here another one right like so all right and see, not too much needed. I like to let the watercolor background speak for ourselves. So that is going to do it for today's layout. And that is going to conclude week one of the class. So we worked with all kinds of different inks. Now, like I said in the first video, if you didn't have the Distress Oxides, you didn't need to go out and buy them. You can do this with the water-based inks. Um, just know that when you squirt the water on, you will maybe have to do several layers because it might run the colors down. But yeah, that is it. So give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and the class. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to go in the description box and join in at the Facebook group if you haven't already. And post your layout for what you created today. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. And I will see you tomorrow for a punched out Thursday to die for and my Thursday punched out girls. See you guys then. Bye.